G'day and welcome to Packprint. My name is Wayne Robinson, editor of Print21 magazine. This morning I'm on the Conacher Minolta stand with Andy Cocker, the new general manager of production, print, uh, production and industrial print at the company. G'day Andy. Right. Yeah, g'day mate. How are you? I'm great, thanks very much. Great to be here. Um, Andy, we're standing outside uh, in front of a new machine, sold sign, great, hot pick, also great. Uh, this is your new launch at the show. Um, can you tell us what it is and why it's here? Sure. This is, so this is the uh, the latest production uh, system in the uh, Konica Minolta range. It's 100 A4 pages per minute, uh, full colour. As you can see configured here, we have a, a range of uh, input allowing uh, long sheet as well as standard media um, supply. Um, the inline um, IQ uh, quality control system, which allows customers to guarantee registration, colour density um, and full colour control, all automated. Um, and uh, as you can see, then uh, high cap stacker. Yeah. We've got a range of finishing options around the, the, yeah. uh, the, the, the whole stand, yeah. uh, which are all sort of interchangeable. So it's not one shoe size fits all. And yeah. um, we can absolutely tailor a solution to, uh, to meet the relevant okay, yeah. So it's basically needs. a customized machine to meet the needs. Perhaps absolutely. you can tell us a little bit more about the IQ system, because I've seen the quality of this machine, which is you know, fantastic. Yep. And what you're saying is that's kind of controlled inside the machine. It is. So it's, it's fully automated. It's checking uh, sheet size, color density. Yeah. Um, Barcodes, you, ensuring that the uh, you know the, the the quality is maintained at, um, at, at optimum level at okay. all time. Yeah. And who is this uh, system, the Acura Press C7100? Who's it aimed at? Who's going to be interested in buying it for their print plan? Look, it's really anyone sort of mid to high volume, um, you know, production okay. sites. Okay. Um, you're looking at uh, you know white sheet in, fully fully finished documents yeah. um, out. Again, automation, uh, reducing touch points. Um, you know, it's it's where you sort of you're, you're stepping up from maybe a um, you know, an 80, 70, 80 page a minute where your volume's yeah. starting to increase. Yeah. Um, wider application uh, range for yeah. customers. Then it's, it's sort of like the next the next step up, if you like. Okay, and Conica, because Conica, of course, been in production color print now for the best part of 20 years. Yep. So you've got a, a long history now of, of innovation and of reliability and consistency in there, haven't you? Yeah, absolutely. Look, I remember selling uh, Conica Minolta, yeah, sort of 16 years ago when I arrived in, uh, in the country. So absolutely, you know, we've got... Um, We've got the depth and breadth of the range. We're building on that on that pedigree, if you yeah. like, and uh, an experience over the, over that okay. period of time. And uh, you, the C7100 is the new machine, uh, but of course, Conic has got a wide portfolio of digital printing machines on, uh, available, hasn't it? Absolutely. So, look, spanning from a 65 page per minute from a toner production system right the way through to the 140 page a minute with the C14000. Yeah. But of course, that's just production print. We yeah. also have um, uh, our industrial print range, yeah. uh, whether it be the label press, embellishment, and right the way through to the uh, the likes of the KM1, yeah. um, which is obviously a B2 um, yeah. sheet fed inkjet system. Yeah. Okay. Um, and again, just really diversifying and opening up the uh, the, the applications uh, and range for, for our customers. And, and with the label press, the Curio Label 230, um, Labels obviously is an area of opportunity for print businesses of all kinds to get into, isn't it? Yeah, I think um, you know we're starting to see short-run personalised um, labels. It's the same story. People want they're placing more orders, but you know more frequently with, yeah. with with less volume. So you're really having to start controlling and tailoring um, towards that short-run print-on-demand. And whether it, yeah, yeah, labels, brochures, you, yeah. you name it, 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 it's affecting all areas of the of the business. But yeah. labels in particular is a is a good growth a good area, area for us. And what yeah. do you sell the to the Curio Label 230 on? Why would someone buy that machine? It really is someone that that, that is looking to get into that market. Yeah. It may be a printer that has, um, you know, use of analog process at the moment where they've been doing larger larger runs where they, you know, the uh, let's say the analog process made more sense. Yeah. But as they're now printing more often but less volume it really starts to uh, you yeah. know make sense to look at a digital um, yeah. op op option and that's where the AL230 really fits yeah. in nicely. And it's an option for someone that what you're saying someone who who's not in labels at the moment Absolutely. but wants to move into it. Absolutely yes so uh, you, you're right the, the, yeah. there's two approaches to market it's people yeah. who are who are in the game at the moment yeah. but need that short run solution yeah. and it's people who are stepping in and realize that they're outsourcing and yeah. all of a sudden they, they you know they, they, the, the dollar value makes sense yeah. to start looking to bring it in-house again. Yeah. Okay great well that's part of your industrial uh, solutions portfolio and now we're going to go and have a look at the, another part of the one of the more interesting machines at the show which is the MGI. Great so here we are in front of the MGI machine uh, the, with the Jet Varnish 3D1 yep. as it's known um, this gives opportunities for printers to give much more than just putting toner on paper doesn't it? Absolutely it does and we've got some samples here for you Wayne yeah. if you take a look so this is, this is a document that we've printed on our toner cut sheet on an SRA3 sheet yeah. then 
using the uh, the jet varnish 3d one you can see where we've been able to uh, add embellishments yeah. and you can even add foil if you really want to go yeah. one stage further then using that as the cover we end up with a finished a finished document which really does enhance the the, the, the quality and the output of the uh, of the document and the finish as you can see um, this application alone this week has had some real interest yeah. and uh, you know sparked some uh, yeah some real interesting discussions with our with our customers I imagine so because it makes the print stand out it's beautiful it's, it's engaging all the things that print needs to be in in the multi competitive world of media communications absolutely you know, yeah a bit, bit more touchy feely yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, thanks so much for talking with us. That's all right. uh, Andy, it's been, been fantastic to get a bit of an insight into the Conoco and Alta. Yep, no, that's fantastic. Anytime. You know, we're, uh, um, you know, we've, like I say, we're, we're having some great success. I'm really looking forward to the role, building the, uh, building the team and really building the interest in, in, in this, which is also, you know, seen as a, a real growing market for us. Yeah, well, and it's great to see Conoco and Alta investing so much in the industry. It's a huge company. It can spend its money in a lot of different areas, that's but right. it's obviously spending a lot of money in the printing industry with, uh, with all this development here. No, that's right. Yeah. And it's, uh, you know, it's only going to get better from here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's great to hear. Andy, thanks so much for your time. Uh, this is Wayne Robinson on the Conoco North Stand for Print 21 at Packprint signing off. <laughs>